This screencast is an introduction to 15 amazing books nominated for the Elementary Nutmeg Award for 2021. We hope you enjoy hearing fourth and fifth grade voices from Rumsey Hall School in Washington Depot, Connecticut, and fourth grade voices from Saugatuck Elementary School in Westport, Connecticut. This was a collaborative project to share our love of great literature. Are you ready? Let's begin. The Cardboard Kingdom, written by Chad Sell, is a book that, if you're if you read adventure, mystery, or any other type of genre book, you'll love this book. I guarantee it. It it's such cool illustrations, and it's about uh, these kids who basically they have all these extra cardboard parts at their houses, and what they do is they cut them out and, and make themselves into, like, these superheroes. And then there's, like, the good side and the bad side. And they have, like, these imaginary battles. And I'm the illustrations are mind-blowing. They're crazy. So I'd recommend going ahead and read this. And y'all be sorry if you don't. This book is a true story of Momofuku Ando's invention of instant ramen. After World War II, Ando watched people in the streets waiting long hours just to get their soup. He wanted to create a ramen dish that was quick and easy to prepare. Through trial and error, Ando finally figured it out. Find out more about this delicious story in Magic Ramen. Wedgie and Gizmo is a fun book that could entertain you for hours about an evil genius guinea pig and a superhero corgi which the guinea pig calls Thorgy. Read this fun book to figure out all the adventures the superhero dog and evil genius guinea pig go through. I think Borrowing Bunnies is a great book because it not only is about how to take care of bunnies, but a heartwarming story about four bunnies who find their forever home. The reason I would love to read Game Changers, the story of Venus and Serena Williams, this is because I love tennis, and I love how these two ladies are just going through all these challenges that come in front of them, and they just keep playing tennis, which I think is really cool. Um, I also would love to read the book because it's supposed to have great illustrations, and that's all. Bye! I think you should read After the Fall by Dan Santat because it teaches you important lessons in life, like how to overcome your fears, even whenever you suffered an injury from it, and always persisting. It also is a very good story about a guy named Humpty Dumpty from the nursery rhyme who falls to off the wall, and he tries to overcome his fear of the, of the, of the wall, and afterwards he does, but I can't tell you how. Hi, I think you should read The Infamous Ratsos by Kate Oru. Louie and Ralphie Ratso want to be tough like their dad, Big Lou, but end up doing good deeds. Right when they think they've stolen someone's hat, they've actually recovered it from a bully. Read the book for a huge surprise twist. I enjoyed this book quite a bit. I think everyone should read Jasmine Taguchi Mochi Queen because it shows that just because you are little doesn't mean that you can't do everything older people can do. Mochi rice cake from Japan is being made by Jasmine's family, and she cannot make it since she is not 10. Read the book to find out how Jasmine perseveres and to prove to her family she can do everything they can do making mochi even though she is just 8 years old. So this is the book Because by Mo Willems. And it is about a girl, and she listens to an orchestra, so she's very inspired by it, and she decides to write her own music. Um, I think that that's just that's great that she was inspired by the orchestra, and she, she even decided to write her own music. So, yeah, I hope you all read it. Rescue and Jessica, A Life-Changing Friendship by Jessica Kensky and Patrick Downs. Rescue thought he'd, be, he'd grow up to be a seeing eye dog. It's the family business after all. When he gets the news that he's better suited to be a service dog, he's worried that he's not up to the task. Then he meets Jessica, a girl whose life is turning out differently than the way she'd imagined it too. Now Jessica needs 
Rescue by her side to help accomplish everyday tasks. And it turns out that Rescue can help Jessica see after all. A way forward, together, one step at a time. I think you should read We Don't Eat Your Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Um, it's about a T-Rex named Penelope, who, and it's her first day in school, and she wants to fit in. So she keeps um, eating things. I think it has a good life lesson, and it's a cute story, so I think this is a good book to read. Always. Ida Always is a book about two friends, one named Ida and one named Gus. They play from sunrise to sunset every day. Soon, Ida gets very sick, and she can't leave her cave in the zoo. Gus comes to her cave, and they play together gently, screaming and playing all still from sunrise to sunset. Suddenly, Ida gets more sick, and Gus gets to get worried. Read the book to find out what happens to Ida and Gus. This is a sad story, but a sweet story, and it has a good message to go with it. The book I love reading is Carter Reads a Newspaper by Deborah Robinson. The book is about African-American people that have made a difference in modern life. The book is a picture book that highlights important people in African-American history. The historical characters in the book are people Carter learned about growing up. Carter G. Woodson believed in African-American history. This is the reason part of American history is spoken now in America. The book is a 2021 elementary, uh, elementary nutmeg nominee. The book seems so inspirational, and I hope you all read this book, too. Seashells, More Than Home by Melissa Stewart. Young natural explorers find a lot of seashells from different parts of the world, and every day when they wake up, they draw and explore the seashells. They like to go underwater and above water to find beautiful seashells. The book I'm going to be talking about today is called The World is Not a Rectangle. The person in the story is very unique, different, and she doesn't care what other people think. And she's so brave. Her buildings were very squiggly and not straight. She had her own imagination. Whenever She always wanted to be an architecture since, since she was little. But whenever she went to real, real architectures, they said her ideas were impossible, crazy, and she's just a woman. Maybe they were impossible. Maybe she's just a woman, but she could still do it. Those people didn't stop her. She's inspired me in so much ways, and I hope she inspires you too. Maybe you'll see some of her buildings around the world. For example, like China, Miami, Rome, and more parts around the world. Hope you read it. Could you guess any of the voices from the students at your school in this video? Here you've got the whole flyer that gives you all 15 2021 Nutmeg Book Award elementary nominees. Be sure to read as many of, of them as you can. And then next April in 2021, vote for your favorite at your school. All of the book cover images from this video come from bookshop.org, a nonprofit organization that supports local bookstores. We encourage you to visit your local libraries, if that's a possibility, to, to borrow the books from there. Um, your school has online options for you. But if you want to purchase a book, we encourage you to support bookshop.org that supports many local bookstores around the country. Keep reading, everyone.